by the way. <laughs> Yay. Okay. Welcome, everybody. It's my birthday. This is a weird view. Hold on. Let me fix it. Oh, that's more normal. Okay. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. Why do you need your passport, Bethany? Want to tell us why you need your passport? Um, well, I was on pins and needles because of the lag time with the passports, and I just got my passport. Why <laughs> do I need my passport? Because we're going to Mexico. Uh -huh. And why? Mark, for a team meeting. meeting. <laughs> yeah, for a team meeting. First of all, a team meeting. First of all, totally in our counts. <laughs> and then there's just going to be this one day in the evening where one of the team meetings is going to include a ceremony. Absolutely. Just a ceremony. Where, um, oh my God, I don't even have my ring on yet. Um, <laughs> My engage, oops, engagement, which by the way, I did Google this and because my beautiful ring, which I literally forgot this morning, oh, my bunny's circling me. He's excited about the ceremony also. <laughs> it's got a, it's a cut at an angle. And so I didn't want to try to find a band, a wedding band that would fit around it. And I Googled it and it said a lot of people just, you know, they love their engagement ring and they want to wear it as their ring. So David has a gorgeous ring that we found him very manly. It's like titanium. So it's like grayish. Yes. But he so is he can Italian. hammer it if he has to and it'll be yes. fine. <laughs> so it looks like a rivet in some ways, but he is Italian. So it has all these hash marks on it with like the diamond shiny hash marks. So Italian. I said it's it. going to be a little bit Jersey Guido. It so, <laughs> as it should be. <laughs> Bethany's Italian, so she knows. Little yeah. Little flash. Yeah. Mm. So man's Jersey. He's Irish, but we call him the faux Italian because he's. It's like he's Italian. Yeah. So he loves that Guido look, and he's got the chains and the bracelets and the whole bit. So and shoes matter. Shoes and he's from Jersey. Yeah. <laughs> matter. Yes, um, they do. Really nice shoes. Better than me, probably. More than me. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so anyway, there will be this Thursday night during our huge, because my whole team's coming, pretty much. Well, it's not the whole team, but a good number of people on the team yeah. are coming. And um, we will be team building. Absolutely team building all the way. Hated oh, with, um, we're going to use this super, um, super food. It's distilled from agave. <laughs> and that will facilitate foods. <laughs> that will facilitate cleansing possibly team connection um and open honest conversation <laughs> did i say open i meant to say overly honest conversation um, dancing and weaving I don't know. yes and then <laughs> there will be this evening where will they david and i will be magically standing up with alan davidson mm -hmm. who is going our lifelong friend um because, I mean, Bethany and I's life together, lifelong friend, right? <laughs> for our lifetime together. <laughs> well, I'll, I'll also do the ceremony, <laughs> sticking my head through. <laughs> yes, so he is going to do the ceremony, and we are going to emerge married. Yes, yes. That's why um, I have for it. <laughs> and this has been the thing because my team, who's super ultra efficient, um, the marketing team, sort of jumped on the new branding. So everyone has been confused. My brother and his cousins were like texting us, you got married and didn't tell us because on Facebook, everything is Margaret Lynn Trenary, yes. um in the home. MLR. <laughs> Right, M L R, and so we had to say like it's actually just branding jumping ahead. Um, so so that's what's happening. That's why Bethany needs her pasaporte, pasaporte in Spanish. So <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. You couldn't quite Let's celebrate see. appropriately until I knew that that passport was in. I was like, oh. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. If you didn't get your passport, um, Deanna said, this is so exciting. Thanks, Deanna. So it exciting. is exciting. Yeah. I'd be, screwed. I'd be in trouble. If I um, yeah. And so we're here to, I guess, talk about empowerment because I just appreciate talking about my personal life. Um, I'd love to delve into your personal life instead. Oh. Um, but we were talking about my personal life in a way that around um, the amount of it, we just had Mother's Day. Yes. We are both mothers. We are. We have That's many, it. many children by many different fathers. That you know what? <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I've heard um, a saying about um, 
parents and, and being a mother, it's called pay rent, pay rent. So pay. you think about being a parent as paying rent, like, you know, oh, karma and all that. Like, it's kind of like, it can be, but I feel like it adds um, some extra hefty weight, not maybe <laughs> the weight, but it's like, whoa, what's happening over there? Bunnies. <laughs> Bunny crashings. Bunnies. <laughs> We're paying rent. Bunnies, yes. Um, yeah, and so there's a, I, you know, my my mother's work is not as much because my daughter is actually just came home from college. So I did spend all day Friday moving her home and we had no help this year. Mm -hmm. um, so it actually was a lot of work. Yes, but, um, a lot of work. <laughs> but yeah, but it, we you hopefully start to get the payoff when they're a little bit older. And of course I have two stepdaughters, but it's coming off of two weeks where I was filming for two days at Hay House with a long travel day on either end of that home for two days and then off speaking at ASAP. And when I came back from that, I was really, really needing to, you know, have some recovery time, which I did. But then we went right into teaching the masterclass, the yeah. three days, which of course, anything like that, I'm like, no problem. <laughs> <laughs> I can do it. Because when you touch what you are passionate about, when you touch what you love to do and you know that when you're in that energy and you're just full of enthusiasm, it's just in flow. Right. And so I'm always like, sign me up for that. <clears throat> but it was a lot. You know, it was tiring. It was the only thing I could do any of those days was those two hours. Um, and now I we went Friday right into the first live Q&A call. Right. For the for the big chakra master class. So um I don't know. What did you want to say? Yeah, about no, it's a lot. Working so hard? Again, yeah, working hard. And, um, you know, I know I've been sort of harping on this a titch, but I can't help it because, you know, um, you know, I'm around Margaret, <laughs> clearly. And when I look at her journey, which I know very intimately, and I, I guess, you know, when you're talking about empowerment and powerful and stepping into it and all the work, she, I mean, this woman, you know, as we know, what is it? Walks or walk? Doesn't just talk. Walks or walk too. Um, no. Walks or talk. Maybe that's how it is. <laughs> and you know, walk, with the talk, and, yeah. you know, walk your talk, and does the inner work to to really be able to stand strongly and and continue to take this forward action and continue to take steps. And you know, that sounds all easy, except any of you who are out there who are coaches or have your own business or doing you know anything that is up leveling you and 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 having you sort of stand mm -hmm. on a bigger stage whether it's your life or an actual stage whatever it is mm -hmm. um, or a relationship or a new relationship. relationship i mean god getting married yeah. you know anything family dynamics there's a bazillion ways this shows up yeah and so if you're up leveling in any way it, you're feeling that push you're feeling that challenge and you and so what do you do you keep taking the steps maybe or maybe you don't so it's just something to sort of look at and and what allows you to take those steps, what allows you to keep moving forward. That's what Margaret has done. You know, it's like I said, it's, it's this, you know, this journey, it's not this, it's not like, Wee! and then we're there. Yay, we arrived. <laughs> I mean, that's just not how life is. Um, and yeah. we're getting, you know, very intimate with that. And that is, but it's, it's, that is, you learn to ride the waves and, and you learn to ride it a little more, with a little more grace, with a little more ease. And it's still hard, but you got to keep riding. That's the thing yeah. that Margaret does so beautifully. She keeps riding. She keeps going, okay, yes, we're doing this. And yes, we're doing this. And yes, we're doing this. And I just keep, and she just keeps on going through the ins and outs of this 10 years. Yeah. Here, continues to take those steps and continues to move forward and up level. And I think, you know, the difference, place. I think, for the two of us in the way we push in our business is that we don't expect when we have to push hard and then push hard again right afterward we don't expect there to be no backlash from that physically. You know, we don't expect ourselves to handle everything beautifully. We don't expect ourselves to have no emotional bandwidth, yes. right? Um, we, we expect ourselves now that we have to eat a lot more when we're pushing a lot more, right? And rest a lot more and have like quiet downtime, remember to tap a lot more. I mean, David and I had to do a two week, we like challenged ourselves with like, let's do a two week challenge where we both do it every day or, <laughs> he said, or we punish each other, which makes us <laughs> happy. Um, and then, or we could just tap more the next day. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Um, yes. To remember, like, 
when we are under stress or under working really hard, even when it's exciting, yeah. that's kind of when you least think about tapping, right? To sort of like be in the moment um, because it, especially when it feels good, but like sometimes when I'm like super yeah. excited, I have to tap even though I'm excited yeah. just to come down into my body and not be so frenetic you know, energy. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Like we were talking after Margaret's all these travels. She's like, whoa, like, yeah, let's get, you know, grounded and get some more rest, right. which isn't always what, you know, Margaret wants to do. Now Margaret likes mm -hmm. to relax and have a relaxing time, but actually nap and take rests. And, you know, mm -hmm. again, because it's fun, because you're energized and I'm the same way and I'm energized. I literally have it like dialed into my day and dialed in like I'm, you know, I like my rest my sleep. <laughs> when I don't get it. So I'm really yeah. conscious of it and the difference in my body, you know, when it happened. Yeah. When I had my travel, you know, my couple of travel weeks and whatever, and I was depleted, I was like, okay, what are we going to do here? And it's like just incrementally adding it every day. But you need more of it when you're up leveling. And I think that's the biggest thing. It's when we punish ourselves the most. But when you're yeah. taking that big leap, like you said, even if it's enjoyable and it's amazing and you love it. And, you know, you're getting married or it's a relationship or like you said, you're, you know, you're on videos or you're making a whole bunch of videos or you're. Yeah. Wow. I have to do today. It takes way more than you could ever imagine. So really paying attention to, like I said, to, to that self-care and the, the pieces that keep you whole and the tapping, but also being conscious of celebrating and saying, I'm taking those steps forward. I'm taking those steps forward. And I'm continuing to do that. Like Margaret's a really great yeah. model for that. Yeah, I think a perfect example is like, I started to fall asleep on the couch yesterday while David was reading me something very, very important to him. <laughs> right? And I'm like, yes. And um, But the thought in my mind is why, why am I falling asleep? I had a, a good night's sleep. Yes. Right. So the night before I had a really good night's sleep. So why am I falling asleep at one o'clock in the afternoon? And so, but that's a missed, that's a misjudgment that sudden because I had one good night of sleep. Now the next day I wouldn't be still tired lingeringly. Um, but I think the other point that I want to bring up in our remaining time for so many of us women who are in our age group, you know, late forties, fifties, sixties around things like elder care, right? So we have, yeah. women who are doing dealing with a ton of elder care yes. and on, then on the other side we have women who are dealing with um drug addiction problem with their adult children or they're taking care of their grandkids mm -hmm. and in both those scenarios like that's just what's happening that is a massive drain on your energy and so sometimes bethany and i'll be working with someone who's got these really big dreams right and they're like i need to get this ebook done i'm pushing hard i'm making all my videos and then when we get on the one-on-one -on -one with them they're like in the spiral around i haven't gotten things done i haven't i've procrastinated six months have gone by and we find out that what they've been doing is driving two hours each way um, because someone, you know, they're they're getting their their mother who has dementia or that is struggling with some into a better place, and they're managing all that. And there's a million phone calls, um, or you know, diving in and and taking care of grandkids, and like that's like being a mother again. And somehow expecting ourselves to be marching forward in our business, right? This is the emotional labor that women do that is unseen that we expect ourselves to do. And, and we say to ourselves, and it's true, like I have like no one else is going to do this if we don't have siblings stepping up. And so it is very interesting that we're in a point of time where our dreams in our second chance in life passion that we really want to have can be so affected by our, if we don't have little kids, that's like an obvious one, right? It's like, wow, I have little kids and I'm trying to build a business. If we have elder care issues, right? Or we're taking care of grandkids because something happened to our own kids mm -hmm. or we're getting them in and out of rehab. That is a new era that we are living in now that you couldn't say really 10 years ago was such a big impact mm -hmm. on people saying, I'm going to leave my corporate job and live my passion, you know, with the opioid epidemic, it's literally affected like everyday clients that we deal with on a regular basis yeah. is how much that drains your life. And so, you know, it's tapping makes a massive difference, even though you think, how can it solve anything? 
It actually calms you down and puts you in a more resourceful state. And then we have to have patience with our own amount of energy and with ourselves right. of what we can actually do in a day. And so I might be, you know, traveling and speaking and traveling and speaking. And for you, your version of that might be, um, you know, making a million phone calls and setting up all of these things and then having, you know, yeah, having family members yell at you. I mean, we hear this all the time too. I'm doing all the work and then I have a family member who's like, I don't think mom needs to go into a into a home. Her Alzheimer's isn't that bad. And now you're in this huge energetic struggle and that takes time and energy. And we have to remember that's part of life, right? Yeah. That's why this work can become so important. So yeah. to get us through, it gets us through. It builds the reserves, right? So that we're not running on empty, so that we can be there in our fullest and our strongest. Um, yeah, yeah, actually, Deanna is saying, okay. thanks for the reminder. I've got these family challenges, and I often forget to take care of me. Thank you for yes. that. <laughs> yeah. Well, um, and we can't. We have to remember that we, at the first chakra level, we're a limited resource, right? And, you know, different times when Bethany and I are doing different things, people will be like, I can't sign up for this, whether it's, um, you know, the seven levels, the three-week intensive we're in the middle of right now, or Ignite, or the Rockstar program, and will because of what they have going on particularly around these other things in their life that is just draining them. Yeah. And we always say the same thing because people have said it to us. Actually, it's the best time yeah. because we need support. And so the, the different sure. articles that I saw from Mother's Day where it's like, mothers actually need more support. We don't yes. need more advice. We don't yes. need more We need each other. We, we don't need <laughs> flowers that you have to plant in your garden. Thank yeah. you for giving me. Thank you for giving me an errand. Um, <laughs> no, it's the poor. That's always what Margaret said. There's a high blooming hydrangea mom. You're like, thanks. Yeah, yeah. Now I have to plant this. Yes, yes. Ever, yeah. ever thing, which I love hydrangeas, but it's that kind of like extra work. And we actually need more support. And you need more support when you're dealing with that. And we've got to be honest about it. And you know where we're going to get it? From each other. Yeah. It's not. It yeah. comes from our families and all that, but it's really from... From a, from a creating a new tribe, creating a new community. Um, so really be looking at, you know, where you're creating that. We have, you know, some communities that you can make sure, like Deanna, that you're connected with that are yeah. at a different caliber, that are at a different level, that understand the deeper work. And that is nourishing. So it's, what is nourishing of you? And, and that's you're so I'm right. Doing. Yeah. It's not yeah, you know, we it's have, a different kind of nourishment. It is. Um, because we do need other support and that will show up. Yeah. We, ended that, that we ended that masterclass last week on Wednesday with the heart chakra. Yeah. Me saying it's literally your most powerful chakra. And what Bethany is describing is the nurturing that you get from each other, from tribe. When that when you nurture your heart chakra, because it's understanding, it's compassion, it's caring for yourself and letting other people remind you of that, you will have a bigger energy and you'll start to attract support. That's how heart chakra works, and I love that. Yes, I'm planning right. kind on of opening my heart chakra even more. <laughs> Just <laughs> yeah. I get to see Bethany. Way to go. <laughs> David's gonna have to fight me for hugs with Bethany. Oh, totally. Yeah, totally. <laughs> <laughs> and Beverly's just gonna be like. I'm going to the beach. <laughs> to her. I'm just going to let you two hug it out and I'm going to the beach. Oh, I'll be like, okay, I'm going to <laughs> All right. Bye, everybody. We got to go. Bye. Bye, guys.